Natalie has some gift ideas for you and I think you'll want to check those out because they're pretty nifty. So Natalie, what have you got in store Hi, for us? Hi everybody. Well, <laughs> So what do we have? Well, of course we have lots of stuff for Christmas, but besides that, some very practical gift ideas for the people you love. Tim Holtz stamp platform. Not new, but new-ish. This is what the box looks like. And then on the side, he sells a nice neoprene case that goes with it. And this is what it is. It's uh, similar to some other stamping devices, but then different. This is how, when you want to do some rubber stamping and you're going to do numerous uh, images or you want to stamp the same image a couple times with different, uh, different colors or you're doing layering stamping, all that can be done in here. You get two magnets that will hold your uh, paper nice and tight so it won't move and then you just put down, give a tiny push, lift up again, there's your image. Oh, did you miss a spot? No problem. Add a little bit more ink, press down, and you're going to get it in the exact same spot. The beauty of this is, if you can see up here, it says rubber. So if you're using a cling rubber stamp, then this is the side of the lid we're going to use. But if we're going to our clear stamps, because we have a little bit of those as well, the lid just turns around, goes back in, and now you're ready for your clear stamps. And just to be sure you're on the right side, again, it says clear right up here in the corner. Okay, so this has been really very popular. Um, of course, made by Tim. Uh, Tim likes to think of everything. Anything that you might have a question for afterwards, he likes to think about that before. That's what we love about him. So he thought of all sorts of things about this stamp platform. It's open on two sides so that yes you can open up a card stamp your sentiment in the middle etc all that included great christmas gift and then you can actually get the neoprene case which does not come with it and there you go it's stored away it's Cute. safe it's protected and you move on now again not to push the tip thing but his tonic trimmer um, Tim has had decided, probably from using a bunch of the small guillotine trimmers, first of all, the guillotine trimmer has a sharp blade here and then is metal over here so that you always get a pristine cut on there. And what they did with this platform is you've got a full six inch base here. So you, there's no guessing where that four and a half cuts or where that five cuts. Your paper lies nice and flat and then this is eight and a half inches long. So it's a great portable trimmer. It's again, one of my most popular trimmers out there on the market. And it's nice as if you have a big stocking, it's nice as a stocking stuffer. If your stocking's a little too small for this, then it looks beautiful under the tree. But I promise you any crafter will get a lot of use out of this. Another thing that's been very popular are traveler's notebooks. This is not this is a Prima brand notebook. Um, I find that a lot of the companies have come out with the Traveler's Notebook. That being said, that is not uh, Midori Traveler's Notebook. That is the size. I've come to realize that that's what they mean when they say a Traveler's Notebook. It is the size that is easiest to travel with. And that's why all the companies have come out with these different uh, covered notebooks that you can travel with. Primas ha happen to have put in a few extra little things that come with. So if you see inside here, you have places to put credit cards and pens. It does go together with an elastic. And inside they have four elastics that you can add in extra books. The two that they do include are sketch pad books, but they do have a monthly, a daily, and a weekly notepad that you can put in here. And this one, not all of the brand, not all of the Prima ones do, but this one, the ones that have just a bare cover, tend to also come with a little zippered pocket. So again, you can put your pens, you can put anything that you're traveling with, your passport, etc., in here. So for somebody you know going on a trip, what a great little present. And of course, I can't sit back. What a great little present to give them to take with them. Like I said, this comes in different covers. 
So some of the covers do not come with the zippered notebook, but they'll have loops for pens. They will also have the, um, I wish I could open them all, but they will have a place for, let's say, um, a credit card, a driver's license. So they all have little pockets inside and the same two notebooks. And most of Prima's designers have come out with one on their own. So Julie Nutting, of course, went with a very fun color. And then this one, I would say Frank Garcia probably had his hand in some of these. And this is the Amelia one. And I don't know if you can see how beautiful that is, but it's black with rose gold because rose gold was all the rage. This one, I believe, comes with black with rose gold or white with rose gold. So all of those still in stock. And now you see my big shot here. This is everybody's favorite gift every year. A big shot, don't leave home without it. Well, how about you do leave your big shot at home and now you go to our little Sizzix sidekick. This has been around for years, not this specific model. Uh, our friend Tim once again has decided that that original Sizzix sidekick was made for Sizzix original dies. And for those of you who remember some of those thin dies, they had a plate underneath and some padding. So now with all the metal thin dies that are out there, you kind of have to do a little bit of adding plaques and shims in order to get your dies to go through. So Mr. Tim Holtz has now designed his own sidekick. Same, very similar to what was already out there, except his comes with, firstly, his smoky, I don't know if you'd call this brown or gray plates that are a little bit thicker than the original ones, so therefore no more need for shimming. We've got this plate that goes through with it. And of course, what is a kit if we don't include some dies, an embossing folder, and some stamps so that the person who's fortunate enough to get this for Christmas can start using it right out of the box. What I see the benefit of this being is when you're going out to a friend's house to a crop to scrapbook, you can take this with you. I would probably say 80% of your dies would go through here. It's only when you're cutting the big uh, rectangular or round dies or a full plate, a front of a card, that it won't go through. But most of your dies would go right through here. And of course, all of Tim's crazy birds and his crazy dogs and cats would go through here with ease. And think of how much easier it is to take this out when you're at a crop and not have to wait your turn for the big shot that belongs to the cropping place you go to. So a great gift comes in this cute little box. Again, depending on the size of your stocking, could just fit right into your stocking. Another thing that people have been loving, and you all saw it on the Facebook Live video, was this gorgeous tote. And it's literally gorgeous. The gorgeous girls have a following all their own. And what was nice about this tote, maybe they thought it was going to be for kids, but we have sold it to just about all adults. They have these pockets inside that are removable. So you put them up on the table you, while you're using them, then right back in there. It's got a big open pocket, so you can get anything in and out, and I promise you the sidekick would fit in here. You have pen loops right on the front here, and more pockets that are detachable. So all of that being said, we've got side pockets as well. And in here, there's storage so well thought out, well planned, and I'll tell you that we sold out the day we got them. I just got a few more in. I was fortunate enough to get a few more for Christmas. And the response I'm getting to people when, from people when they see it is, wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Of course, it's got the pull-up handle that pulls up, and it's on wheels. It I is not on four wheels, it's on two. Check out these wheels, guys. <laughs> Catherine's I'm favorite slightly part. attracted to the wheel. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> so, kind of cool looking wheels. Yeah. Great, great gift for Christmas. I think we have two or three left. So, definitely feel free to call and reserve yours because who wouldn't want to receive this under the Christmas tree? Little too big for the stocking, but you could fit the stocking inside. <laughs> Filled with the 
the sidekick. Filled with the sidekick yeah. and, and or the Tim Holtz tra <laughs> trimmer or the planner. So since we're on the theme of the gorgeous tote, I had ordered this in, believe it or not, sight unseen, but I know that I have a following for the gorgeous girls. And this cute little notebook came in and I really thought, okay, it's going to be a great kid's gift, um, adolescent, teenager. And I have to tell you that most of the people who bought it are over those ages, let's say. And what I loved about it is besides the fact that you get these beautiful, gorgeous girl stickers, which I believe you can't find except if you buy this, this adorable washi tape with all the gorgeous girls' faces on it, and then a postal kind of washi tape. A couple of little gift cards, but what usually steals the show is this cute little journal, which I'm going to flip through just some of the pages. I had somebody buy this and take it as a traveler's journal that she was going to put pictures and her tickets when she was traveling in here. I have somebody who told me she's just going to leave it on her desk to look at and flip through the pages. And then other people that are going to use it as just a little photo album, giftware, etc. But how could you resist? And then at the back you've got a little pocket so you can store a couple of extra pieces in there or put your stickers, etc. in there. So that again is on the theme of the gorgeous girls and it's been quite popular. I have but a few left. And then what that same company did is they made a more versatile, I guess, if they figured that was too cutesy, thinking they were making that for children. And they went and they made one, uh, I think I have it in gray and I might have it in beige tones. And this, again, they put in a couple of little added pieces, some stickers, and then a notebook very similar to the Gorgeous Girl, but do we want to say much more adult? Because we don't need to be adults, especially around Christmas time. But definitely, you can have a good look here to see that somebody did have the idea of using this as a traveler's uh, companion, let's say, to take with them to document their voyage. Uh, if you need a little sign-in book for something or you want to document just a small event, a weekend away, etc., it's perfect for that. So also a wonderful gift. And then lastly, not that the store isn't full of fun items, I'm going to show you a new storage tote that kind of clips on to the side of your table that's great to take with you when you go to a crop or even to use at home that you can just get everything out that you're going to be using at that time, put it in this storage bin so that it's not on the table in front of you, do your crafting and then at the end you take what's in there, put it away and it's ready for tomorrow when you're about to craft again. This is the table tidy. Now I've got it hooked onto a thin table before I had it hooked onto a plastic table that was about this thick. It really just has a screw underneath that unscrews and you've got ample space here to put it on whatever thick table you want and it stays on really really sturdy I've sold quite a few of them and then they have two little pieces that kind of hook on to the side so this one has two pockets and this one is a single pocket so you'd put them each on the side and that together, again, makes a beautiful, beautiful kit and very, very practical for any crafter to keep in their craft room. And that, I opened this up at a crop one day, just put it out because we had too much stuff on the table and I was putting things in there and everybody said, I need that. So if you're wondering if this will be useful to your crafter, uh, the answer is yes. I, I definitely have to say that I would love that. Now, anybody looking for a Christmas gift for me? No, I'm just joking. But I wish everybody a very happy holidays. Un joyeuse fête. Si je peux répéter tout ce que j'ai dit déjà en français, je le répète. Mais peut-être on peut mettre des... Euh, des sous-titres. Des sous-titres ou quelque chose. Mais vraiment, ce sont des cadeaux très, très belles pour Noël. Et si vous avez besoin plus d'informations, n'hésitez pas à soit appeler en, en magasin, puis on vous donne toutes, toutes, toutes les informations. Puis on vous souhaite un très, très joyeux Noël et bonne année. Et on se voit bientôt. Merci. Joyeuse fête!